Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, you guys probably did not expect me to do this video because I usually don't hop on to like the video trends, but I thought this one would be so fun and funny. So today we are going to be transforming into a 2019 Tumblr girl. In other words, a Visco girl. This is gonna be a cringy video. So I woke up in my Visco bed, like on my Visco pillow. Yeah, I posted on my spam account, like asking people things they relate to like a Visco girl. Some people were commenting on it like, girl, please don't, <laughs> please don't do this video. There's always like a new, very common video concept going around and I usually don't hop on them, but this one we had to do. Okay, so I know pretty much everyone does this in their Visco girl transformation video, but I'm gonna give you guys the definition because a lot of people don't know what it means, Visco girl. Basically the most basic girl you'll find out there. Common interests include scrunchies, hydro flasks, seashell chokers, and Birkenstocks. That's the most like surface thing I've ever read. Also, I'm very aware Visco is not a personality trait. I'm aware it's an app that you edit pictures on, but you already know the type of pictures people are posting on there and that's what they're referring to. So if you guys would like to follow me on there, my Visco is Aslia-William. Keep up with me on there. I'll definitely post pictures that I don't post anywhere else. But yeah, so basically the plan for today, I'm going to meet up with one of my friends. She's actually a newer friend you guys haven't met her yet her name's Olivia and we're just going to be going around town doing visco things so I have kind of like a list of different things we will be doing we tried to come up with more but like this is really all I could come up with we're both pretty excited I laid out my outfit last night I picked out a few different pant options because I feel like there's a few different styles of visco girls like there's the oversized t-shirt there's you know the little brandy tanks like things like that but I definitely wanted to go with the oversized t-shirt look I feel like that's the most popular and then I also laid out some athletic shorts some biker shorts some burks yeah we'll put that together when it's time to leave so right now it's 8 51 her and i wanted to meet around 11 30. another thing i wanted to do in this video was go get an acai bowl that would be the perfect breakfast you know for this visco transformation so if i get ready fast enough we're gonna go do that if not we're not gonna do that because i'm gonna be rushing but right now it's nine o'clock i mean i feel like i could probably do it so let's go ahead and get up do my hair and do a little bit of makeup all right you are gonna have to get up really <laughs> You gonna let me sit here with you? All right, cool. Just so you guys know, he did jump off so people don't think I'm like sitting on my cat this whole time. Ooh, I washed my hair last night. The curls always look so bomb right before I have to go to sleep, but I usually wash my hair in the evening. Last night, my hair was super frizzy. It was slicked back in a bun, so I wanted to wash it. And then I was like, oh shit, I'm filming this video tomorrow and my hair looks disgusting. So I washed it last night. I let it dry pretty much completely before I go to bed and I just throw a bonnet on it. It's gonna be extremely hot today anyways, so wasn't planning on wearing my hair down. So the first thing that we are going to be doing to get ready to transform into let's not say that again I'm actually gonna wash my face first because it's feeling kind of greasy so I'm gonna go wash my face with the Mario Badescu seaweed cleansing soap I feel like Mario Badescu is a very common visco girl brand so we have this face wash and then we also have two Mario Badescu sprays I have basically the lavender chamomile and the aloe and rose water these are both really good um this one's running out so it's kind of squirting out in like big globs which is really uncomfortable for me so yeah I'm gonna go wash my face with this face wash and I'll get to you guys in a second Okay, so I'm back from washing my face with this face wash. My skin actually feels so good. Wow. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is moisturize. I'm using the Bliss super rich moisturizer for dewy radiant skin this stuff is so bomb it is actually so moisturizing and it kind of has almost like a shimmery effect to it seriously makes your skin glowy and like i said it's just extremely moisturizing it's definitely more moisturizing than any of my other face moisturizers like this stuff is bomb and it kind of smells like lavender i'm trying to make it a habit to start like bringing my moisturizers up my face instead because you know avoiding wrinkles but i forget okay so now i'm gonna use some eye cream for the bags i'm using the first aid beauty retinol eye cream right under my eyes i don't think eye cream does shit but like okay you gotta go girl i'm filming a tutorial okay so now for this hair it is nine o'clock and it's already 80 degrees outside okay if you live in a hotter climate than this may not seem like much to you but since it is already 80 degrees like usually it gets to be 80 around you know two three it is already 80 degrees and it's gonna get up to 93 okay a little lower than it's been the past few days so let's 
Okay, so like my curls look really defined. I'm not wearing my hair like this. It's too hot for that. And that's just, that wasn't the plan for today. I actually didn't have a plan for what I was gonna do with my hair for today, but I'm just gonna do a high bun. So let's get all the products for that. Dude, my skin feels so nice. I really recommend that face wash. Okay, I don't know why I look so pale on this camera. Like I have a tan, I literally have a tan. Why do I look like this? This camera overexposes a little bit, but okay. So I'm just going to kind of fluff my hair out so I have a little more flexibility while putting it into the bun. I could do the two buns or is that doing too much? Should I do the two buns? Maybe we should just try it out. Okay, so my hair's in the two space ones now. Don't think this is a very common style in the visco world, but what is it, like, straight hair? Fuck, I look like. Okay, so makeup. So whenever I think of a visco girl with makeup, I think of a very light and natural look. So today, pretty much just gonna do the routine I usually do. It's light coverage and not a lot of makeup in the first place. So I'm just gonna be filling in my eyebrows a little bit, doing some concealer, some blush for sure. Those are like the main things I'll be focusing on. To help this makeup blend out effortlessly, we're gonna spray our beauty blender or our Real Technique sponge with the Mario Modescu spray. My cheeks look crazy on camera. They do not look that bright in person. But now to set our makeup, we're going to once again use our Mario Badescu spray. Oh, I forgot about mascara on my lower lashes. Since I have lash extensions, if you did not know that, I do have lash extensions. I do not wake up naturally with glam lashes. But since I have lashes, I'm usually pretty satisfied with how my eyes look. So I forget to put mascara on my lash line. But I'm gonna be using this Milk Kush mascara for my lower lashes. I put highlight on my upper lip, so now my lips look ashy. So let's just uh, put some chapstick on. So here's the finished makeup, super simple and clean. We have the brows filled in a little bit. We have some concealer to just kind of give us an overall smooth finish. We have a lot of blush, some highlight, and mascara. Okay, so the next step for this Visco Girl transformation is our outfit. So right now I'm just wearing when I slept in. What I'm wearing out is pretty much the same thing, like a big t-shirt and some shorts. But let me show you guys how extra, like, this is what I have laid out. So I'm bringing my Polaroid camera. So I'm bringing my Polaroid camera that is full of film in my Konkin, okay? So we have that. I have this big graphic t-shirt I got from Paxson the other day out of the Brandy Melville section. So definitely wearing this top today. Hopefully I don't get makeup on it. We have some Nike socks. I didn't know if I wanted to wear these with socks or not. I'll look at both, but I think I'm gonna wear the socks because that's a very common thing. Have some jewelry. I think, I just think that the athletic shorts are gonna look better with the socks because these socks are already pretty long. And then the biker shorts are pretty long. I don't know how that would look together. So I'm gonna try on this outfit with the athletic shorts and see how that looks. Whenever I wear these two space buns, I feel like a little girl and I felt like that kinda also fit the theme for this video. Okay, so I have the t-shirt and the athletic shorts on. Whenever I stand up, you can't see them, which is, um, Pretty accurate. I look so tall because the camera's low. It's funny because this is like a transformation for me, but like this is how people really dress every day. Okay, so I have the socks on. <laughs> All right, so now we got everything on. We got everything put together other than the scrunchie. There's a certain scrunchie I want to wear that'll match this fit, but it's on my gear shift in my car. So I have this little uh, kind of like a choker necklace from Brandy Melville. I have my Zodiac sign necklace, which is from Shop X Crossed Boutique on Instagram. I have this Brandy Melville graphic tee. I have my Nike athletic shorts. I have Burks with socks. Oh, can't forget the book bag. I mean, like, it's totally cute. It's so cute, but this is so 
basic. Okay, so one of my all-time favorite scents is In the Stars by Bath & Body Works. This is a fine fragrance mist, so it's not an actual perfume. So I just spray a bunch of this on because it doesn't last long. And we can't forget the Wildflower phone case. Tanil said I look like a visco girl. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm in my car now. I'm just gonna take my, my conk in off. So I actually did make it out with enough time to go get an acai bowl. So that's what we're about to do. Here's the scrunchie I wanted to wear. It's like this mustard yellow. I'm gonna wear this on my right hand. And then of course we have scrunchies on the gear shift. But yeah, um, Azzy making it out with extra time is very rare. So we're gonna take advantage of it and go get an acai bowl. Take some pictures of it, probably take a Polaroid of it. This is the most surface and basic video I've done, but it's fine because it's not an everyday thing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and drive to this. They don't only have acai bowls. That's actually where I got my smoothie the other day with my mom. They have a lot of options. I'm gonna go ahead and drive there. It's like 20 minutes from here, which is like, kind of far the only time i really drive that far is to like go to the mall or where i'm going today but it's worth it you know for visco yo i am being so obnoxious in this video if this video is your first time watching me definitely recommend you try something else after this because like Okay guys, so I am at the little smoothie acai wool place right now. I changed to a cheetah print scrunchie because I just felt like it was more necessary and I love cheetah prints, so. <laughs> one of my camera batteries already died and I only brought two, including the one that died. So really hoping, um... oh my God. <laughs> They're talking about the car. I forget that my windows are tinted and that people like can't really see me in here but that kind of scared me all right so let's go into juice vibes being super basic i'm gonna bring my book bag because my polaroid's in here and i don't want to just walk in with a polaroid this is bad enough so let's just uh, bring the whole book bag All right, guys, so I am back in the car. The girls that work in there are so nice. Shout out to Simone. I don't know the other girl's name. I'll get hers next time, but they were both so sweet and supportive. Love them. But I got my acai bowl. It looks ridiculously good. I took a few pictures and discos of my acai bowl before I left, but I didn't take the Polaroid in there because I just felt like that was super extra. But I'm about to do that in the car. Oh my gosh, I haven't taken a Polaroid in so long. This is literally the only thing I have in that book bag, by the way. Okay, let's take this picture and put my phone like right here. It's funny how easy it is to like recreate these trendy Tumblr pictures. Like this is what is really going on behind the scenes of people taking these pictures. Like they look so effortless, but like look what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna let this develop for a little bit. I hope it actually shows up. Okay guys, so the first picture I took absolutely nothing i'm not like super familiar with polaroids i don't know if this is like normal because i know whenever you first put the pack of film in the first picture you take it prints out like the black piece of plastic so i don't i don't know but this didn't work but of course i tried taking one again and it worked and like this one is this is an ass picture like it's not good but it's really not a big deal i already took pictures and discos of my acai bowl and i mean like what am i really gonna do with a polaroid of a bowl of food and i'm about to pick up some disposable cameras Okay, not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed with my parking. I backed into a parking spot in a parking deck. <laughs> What's up vlog? What's up vlog? So we're here at this really cute coffee shop. Just look at the background. It's so cute. And bright. This is what it looks like. It is so pretty. It's very clean. aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, it's clean looking. We both got cold brew coffee with caramel and almond milk. It's pretty good. It's yeah. It's it could be better. Yeah, yeah. I give it like I give it like a five to be honest. Yeah, it kind of tastes like a tire, but it's cute. It's pretty.
Okay, so we're in this super cute corner. There's pink chairs. Got a little table right here. A cute lamp. And we're just chilling. We took some pictures and I think we're about to. We just saw some real life disco. Oh, yeah. Okay guys, so we just walked out of the coffee shop and there was a group of girls that were totally doing what we're doing. Yep, um, but like for real. No, like actually, like, like actually ones. being, like yes. yeah. We're about to go thrifting. Yeah, we're about to go thrifting. So another thing that Visco girls like to do is thrifting. guys so I am back home I've been home for quite a bit now but I'm still in my clothes from earlier I just took off my makeup but I'm actually about to hop in the shower because it's been a long day and I feel nasty so I want to shower then I'm gonna put my hair in just one bun because I don't really like sleeping with two buns in my head and then just you know do some skincare get ready for the night I want to spend my evening editing today was so fun I had such a great time even though today's video is kind of like a joke it was super fun to film I'm sad my camera died I brought two batteries but the first battery I was using died before I even got to Raleigh so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the shower and I'll talk to you guys all right guys so that is basically it for today's video I really hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have got all the way to the end and you have not subscribed yet please make sure to do so also if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up my comments are currently disabled on YouTube so if you guys would still like to keep up with me and actually be able to comment on my posts you can follow me on Instagram both my personal and my spam account and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you all so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>